Flight Sponsor's 10-Year Tip with Gary Dibley. And good evening. You caught me in mid-flow of moving the headphones out of the way. Um, I'm in an ecstatic mood um, today for some reason. Um, I am that excited. I, I have a log, a full-on log in my lap. Um, and I know some of you may find that disturbing, but it's true. I do. Um, and here it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he does have a log for another reason. Um, yes, yeah, so bit of tree. Um, I spoke to you last week and mentioned that we had uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of cherry, and you could probably see from plasters and and cuts and everything um, that I had much fun this week. Let me just put this down out of the way. Um, yes, so I, I've been working with the spoils of the Vamo and uh, and and some wood, um, and uh, and I had, I've had good fun today. Uh, I'm away. Um, this isn't a live show. Um, if you're watching it on a record, it really doesn't matter. If you're watching it live, probably about this time, I am uh, somewhere playing pool, uh, probably half tanked, um, and uh, don't know what I'm doing. But I'm not here. I will be, however, um, probably doing lots of sanding, shall I say, while I'm away. Um, but I'm I'm in a very, 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 very good mood today. Um, it's Friday, I've not worked, and I've just had the news that would make a child think it was Christmas. Um, and yes, there we go. You know what I mean. If you do, um, uh, yeah. smiling, he can't stop. The cheesy grin is not going away. Uh, what have we got lined up for you this week? Um, I may have to start by saying good evening. It's Monday night. It is nine o'clock, <laughs> but it's not, and it is time to tin your tip with myself, Gary Dibley, and the ever capable mod master that is Mark. Um, there we go. Done that bit. Um, Mark is going to be. Uh, we had we had a little agreement because I'm away this week. Um, we decided to give uh, give Mark a, a respite, uh, a little break, um, because he's going to be filming something to do with the Vamo, and effectively we've got the final part of, of his vids that he started last week. So it seemed a little bit silly to to start a, a different mod halfway through. So we're going to start off with uh, with Mark's next bit of his or the final bit of his of his box mod, um, and then I tackle uh pretty much for the for the rest of the show a a little bit of uh wood modding um and uh, yes we do in fact mod a tree um it was a tree that was once growing in our garden and it was planted in memory of my wife's granddad um and i saved portions of the trunk and this and the other and in the process i did actually start something that i i meant to start a long time ago which was actually making something uh, for for my mother-in-law and and fam you know their family um, with with the tree, and I, I'm going to make them a, a nice clock thing out of it, you know, hollow it and do stuff. Um, so these little holes I was making were sort of a uh, a bit of a progress. Um, the bench behind me is looking bare, but not for long. <laughs> Funny, oh, happy happy bunny. You wouldn't believe how happy, and I'm not drinking um, because it's it's five o'clock, and uh, I decided to to film this show before uh, I put my child to bed at six, um, because we go away very very shortly on Monday, <laughs> which is now now. Um, anyway, I'm going to go into uh, to Mark's final little bit of it, of his video that he put together. Um, we, he was making the AA box mod, and uh, and then I'll go into some of mine, and I will see you very shortly back after this. It's positive. We'll simply run through to here. the switch
that comes through the back. And my resistor. I'll just run down the side as well next to the negative. Shoulder this up. And you're pretty much there. Let's tuck the wires down out of the way. Make it all neat and tidy. All that's left now to do is to add the LED. Feel the other way to escape me. Back a second. So I'm starting with the negative side of this, the short arm. I just need to trim that off a bit. I'll be trimming the positive as well, but not until I've soldered up the negative. Really. Otherwise, I'll run the risk of getting confused and mixing the two up so I'll just quickly tin up the leg and I've tinned up the negative Done. And for the same on this side. Just chop off the leg a bit. A bit off the resistor. Just tin the tail. I've run this over you know it. Now at this point I should really check that I've got everything in place before I do anything else. So I'll just pop your battery in. Make sure it's in the on position and press the button. And I get absolutely nothing. Probably because these flat top batteries really don't work well with things that are meant for double A batteries. So the simplest way I've found to get around that is just to tin up the soldering in and drop a blob of solder on here. down. You now pop your battery in, in the on position, and you've got a working LED, which means that the circuit is good. And just to be on the safe side, I'd better add the carbonizer. As you can hear, this is in nicely. Soldering all done, the circuit's ready. Press it, pop out the battery, and glue everything up. Now, the more eagle eyed among you might have noticed that I once again had a failure to measure properly. And when I joined the resistor to the LED, 
I cut the wires a bit too short. So I've taken this opportunity and added an extra bit of wire so I can push this all down out of the way flat, get the LED in position. And what I'm going to do is add epoxy into here to seal everything up, make sure nothing has a possibility of shorting out. And the epoxy will seal it all up, hold all the components in place, and we'll be done. I'm not going to show that here, because you've seen me playing with the clear epoxy far too much recently. So we're back when it's all finished. It's all finished. That's quick. Nice multicolored LED there. Colorizer on the top, very nicely. And inside, as you can see, I've put a nice layer of epoxy across everything down here just to hold everything in place. It also insulates all the wiring from each other so nothing can short out or anything. So, keeps them nice and neat so no damage. So, there you have it. A quick, simple box mod, despite the mistakes, as we all make them. There you go. Alright, so this week we're going to mod a tree. Um, I've got a nice lump of, uh, of cherry here um, which has got some cracks and that where it's dried out and uh, it's been drying for a fair few years but I do have a whole trunk of the stuff so we may be able to get something out of it. Um, not sure exactly where we're going with this um, but it will involve um, and let me just remove the trunk from the bench because it's a damn big thing. Bear with me one second. We're going to involve uh, my two best friends. Mr. Black and Mr. Decker. Now we've got one of these uh, little saws, um, which is virginal this one. Um, this is the uh, the scorpion, uh, which I picked. I went down to B&Q this morning and um, I picked this up. This was uh, um, reduced from 60 quid to 30 quid. So it was like, that is a must buy for this week's modding session. Um, so yeah, uh, we're going to get some scorpion action going. Now I'm sort of thinking of this as yeah, a bit of shaping and this and the other. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to go very wrong. Um, and, and my other black and dagger friend has got teeth. He's got big teeth. <laughs> yes, we're going to have some chainsaw action. Um, so it, it could get painful. Um, this is why I'm filming this before I before I go on holiday. Um, I'm not trying to get out of going on holiday, but I thought it would be uh, a, a good little one to uh, to, to do. Um, now, the, what I'm going to be doing effectively is we did the Vamo last week, and um, you may well have seen that this section of the Vamo was. Uh, was problematic for me it come off now the way that the vamo works you've got um i suppose we'll show you you've got your bottom cap here you've got your midsection here which can come out and then go up and basically make it 18 350 size what i'm looking at potentially doing um this week is taking our end cap that we had um the spoils the leftover bit from uh, from last week and this little cap here is effectively this is the one that was uh, attached to the body um, and the reason I'm using this half is uh, I don't know what I'm going to make with the wood yet but we're going to make something I'm sort of thinking of um, obviously embedding this section somewhere within that wood so it'll take this battery um, and then the top cap can uh, can go on to, to make the contact and screw down as is now the other reason I want to use that is because if I'm using the, the bit that was uh, in the base, I can add the other tube on that I've still got and make uh, this wood mod, or oh, fair enough, this, this is going to extend out past the wood, um, but make it take uh, an 18650 as well. So there we go. Um, I, I really haven't got a clue what I'm going to be doing with the, uh, with the chainsaw yet um, and, and what sort of bits of wood I'm going to be using. 
but effectively we're looking to, uh, and this is going to go over a few weeks as you can imagine, taking you through um, from tree trunk to vapage. Um, now I'm not 100% sure how that is going to pan out, I'm not sure whether it will pan out, um, I'm not sure whether I will lose a limb, um, but it's well worth uh, taking a look. I am going to uh, to go and don some uh, some safety boots and, um, and, I don't know what safety boots, I need bleeding gloves and hats and everything, uh, and uh, I'll pop back in a bit where we'll try and get a bit of uh, chainsaw action going. See you back after this. Right, so it appears that I have a, a bit of a fundamental error with my uh, with my plan, and that is that uh, my chainsaw is broken, so I'm going to have to handle everything with this. So I'm just going to try and take this chunk off. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but uh, we'll give it a little go. We may have to cut away and uh, and come back, but uh, let's see how we go with this thing. too much. Oops. Now I'm hoping that we're going to be able to use some of this stuff. And there's looking like there might be enough in there to use off that little chunk there. But it depends on because it's been tried to be cut before and whether I can get enough out of this to um, to use. Oh, and it's moving everything everywhere. Not exactly great this is it. So we're hoping that's where we're gonna find something to use, but we need to find something in there if we can. Um, we'll give that a bash. Pop boy come back in two. And there we go. I can I can assure you um, that uh, that no sheds were harmed in the making of that video. Um, and that I was planning on putting that in a, um, I was gonna clamp it in my workmate. Um, however, I got the workmate out of the shed and uh, <laughs> it fell apart. Um, and I couldn't find, God knows how. When it went in the shed, it had all the bolt screws and everything that was holding it together. When I pull it out, they're all gone. Um, so we do have a, uh, a, you know, a nut burglar somewhere in the shed. Um, not sure where that come from. I'm going to pop into our first little air break while he scans the PC for them. And he still can't find them. There they are. And uh, I'll come back very shortly after this. Liberty Flight sponsors 10 Year Tip with Gary Dibley.
Weber and iWeber Alexa. Best in Yorkshire for your AC needs. That's iWeber.co.uk and iWeber-Alexa.co.uk. iWeber and iWeber-Alexa.co.uk are proud sponsors of WeberTrails.tv. Flight sponsors 10 Year Tip with Gary Dibley. And there you go, we're back in the room. Uh, so, yeah, that was that was uh, fiddling around all over the place. I'd, I've done things with tools I shouldn't have done this week, uh, that is most definitely for sure. And I do have the battle scars to prove it, as you will see coming up very, very shortly. Um, on a side note, the MoFo is, is still going very, very well. Now believe it or not, these are the same batteries, for, uh, it's 2018-650. Um, and it's been on the bench and I've just been using it when I pick up things and it's still damn going I, I, it's screwed up, I don't know I'm, I may have to unscrew it at some point to find out what charge is in the batteries but I don't know um, but I know damn well it's been, it's been hitting the same every time every time I picked it up uh, which has been good um, I'm to the point now where, where I have chainsaw failure um, not sure what the hell happened um, I think it must have seized absolutely solid while it was in the shed. The shed next door um, is the spawn of a weevil. Everything that goes in there seems to come out broken. Um, I oiled it, I, I, I adjusted the chain um, and everything and uh, and it, it just didn't want to play ball. So unfortunately uh, it was a good job I went and got the scorpion uh, because the scorpion turned out to be a very good tool. Um, mm, yes, but it bit me. Um, and uh, coming up in our next little bit of videos, you may see some blood start to uh, appear. Um, we'll catch you very shortly back after these. Right, so back in the warm. Um, I've had a look at uh, our little bit that we, we cut off frantically, and I do apologise for the lack of chainsaw. Um, but there is sort of, you know, the, the, where I've tried to cut this, where it was on the tree, and this and the other, and... and it's obviously split through on this end. I might be able to get something out of that, I don't know. But what I had a look at is there was a noggin on the other end um, that, that I decided to take off. And, and this here does have some really nice sort of um, patterning in the wood. Um, I'm sort of hoping with this chunk here um, I'm going to go away and, and start sort of, uh, I, I need roughly to, to have, uh, I'd like to have the heart of this if I can, and I need to get it into a sort of a, a shape. <laughs> you can tell this is totally unplanned. But um, yeah, we're, we're modding a tree trunk. Um, now, you know, I could just leave it like that, you know, it'd be quite nice, and I'm sure you could get a, a switch in, in here. Um, battery compartment going down in there and an atty on here um, but it would be damn you know, big to hold um, I'm gonna go away and 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 do some some more cutting um, I won't film it because uh, it's pointless but effectively what I'm gonna start trying to do is to square this up a little bit um, because I'm, I'm gonna be sort of doing the shaping on the belt sander now although I've, I've sort of said it, it's a pipe it's not gonna be a pipe of sorts I want to make something um, a wood holder um, using the spoils of the Vemo. So I'm going to go away, I'm going to, I'm going to take a, a little bit more um, off this and I'll pop back when I may have something I can work with um, and hopefully all of these are still there. Um, but this is an old piece of cherry, it's been drying for a long, 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 long time. Um, I'm going away, obviously, this is being filmed while I'm away and, and I'm hoping I can take some sandpaper and stuff and still work on it while I'm away um, and, and try and get something together then. Uh, but let me pop away, I'll, uh, I'll start taking this down a little bit more and I'll pop back in two. Right, I've got some wood, I think. I've got two bits of wood, got lots of bits of wood. Um, I was looking at and, and I've got this chunk. 
uh, which we've managed to salvage what we can out of uh, the branch at the um, cuts in and this was obviously a branch off the tree um, and I've got I think enough out of that to do something with um, I do have a bigger project that I will be talking through at some point um, but this this is going to be the mod that and you can see I, I, I was bitten same finger um, I do have also I've, I've cut a nice bit out of um, one of the uh, cut cross section of the branch and uh, and this I'm sort of hoping to take a lot more time over and um, and and do a, like a, a proper pipe out of um, so and I've, I've got enough left over for all the bits I wanted to do for the mother-in-law um, so this section is going to be mine but for the purpose of, of today we've got our, our little bit of wood that we have here um, a nice little bit of cherry um, I've tried to chunk all the bark off and cocked it. this is when I did this this is when it bit me um, but I want something that's going to stand on a table um, and I'm going to, as I say, we, we're using the spoils of, of the Vamo so roughly positioning this up I've been looking at possibly dropping this down to about that level so drop that down in on the wood there so I'm going to have to drill a hole out for, for that potentially dropping a switch in somewhere around about here and I'm going to try and keep an attic connection on the top as well. Now I know it may look weird, but when that's recessed right down and, and you have the switch, uh, and then you'll be able to sit a tank on top, like so. So it'll all sit on the table nicely as well. Um, and it'll just be a piggy yummy pressy type thingy. Um, I don't know, sort of what's coming to mind with, with the chunk of the offcut that, that I've got. Um, so what that means realistically is, is I've got to roughly look and, and we can shape this and, and do things with it he hopes um, it may can be <laughs> I'm, me with wood doesn't doesn't work so if I was to look at roughly just oh, do you like the pencil if I was look, roughly to look at you know putting a circle around here of, of where our tube's going to go somewhere around about there like that and then potentially seat in our switch. Our switch could sort of, I'll try and get that so you have the rings coming out from the switch and an Etty potentially somewhere sort of over here he says and then what that means is I'll have to uh, drill this out, drill out for the switch, drill out for the Etty and then these will need some sort of, uh, oh, I'm obviously going to, uh, the, the one that worries me is how I'm going to get the wires up to the attic because I'm going to have to um, route through somehow. And I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do that um, or if it's even damn possible. Um, but with a 9mm hole in there I should be able to angle something in at, at some point off and yeah it makes sense. Um, I'm going to go and rig up the, uh, rig up the, the pillar drill. Um, and we'll uh, we'll come back and we'll uh, we'll attempt to to drill out for uh, for this bit here to see in, which is the back end of the uh, of the Vamo. Um, I'll come back in two. Right. So essentially, I am over at the bench, and I've made a little start. Um, now, this isn't actually going to be the size that I need this to fit in. So I am having to route out afterwards, but I want to get a, a hole in there. Um, so I may cut away. Um, I don't know if I'm going to film doing the whole thing of this. Um, um, I don't know. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see if I take things off or you know it starts getting dangerous. Now realistically, I'm having to hold this by hand. I, you shouldn't do that with these. Um, but I'm going to have to. Uh, it might get noisy. Um, bear me one thick on. Goggles on your face, boy. Am 
may well set off the smoke alarm. Um, if it does, I'll go because it's, it's steaming. I'm going cross grain, and this isn't the sharpest drill bit in the box, so uh, I'll start again. <laughs> getting our all down in there quite easy actually quite surprised try and get it as deep as I need it As, as far as I want that to go and that means that I think roughly just top cap is going to be sticking up out of there from here that's not going to go I'm going to have to route this out now a little bit to try and get this to fit but I'm just trying to have a rough uh, guess a rough fit up don't want to take that down too low if I can help it I might take out a tad more just a tad more <laughs> Two. Right, well I've changed out to the routing bit, I um, don't know if we can zoom in on that, I don't know how well that will work, there, ish, 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 back dad, there we go. So I've got my little round bit that I had of me, me Dremel in there, and what I'm literally doing is just feeding my, my wood in there. Now because my drill bit was ever so slightly too small for, for what I needed to do for the tube, I'm just uh, feeding this round ever so slightly, bear me two secs. <laughs> Hopefully, that is going to start feeding down in there now. He's totally off camera. So, I've got my size hole now. Now, what I'm going to do is go away. I'm going to route this all the way down so this can fit snug down to the bottom. It shouldn't take too long now. And, uh, and I'll pop back. Oh, I'm back on the bench for a little rest. A little rest and, uh, and a breather. Um, dust everywhere. I've got two holes in some wood after all that time and uh, the reason it's taken a while um, I've been working them gently and I, I found that the 
the little duvet. Now I know this looks like it's chopped to bits at the moment and it'll probably look the same when I'm finished. Um, but what I do now have is I do have a a bit where it's sort of like a, I don't know, a steampunky woody type thing. So my battery insert now goes in there and my switch goes in there. So you can sort of see where I'm coming from with this. Yeah? So with that in there, I'll be able to drop my battery in there. Like so, the leading 350. Um, now, it's only at this stage I've got these two together. Obviously what I'm going to be doing is I want to shape this, shape it all round and shape it so it's all nice. I want to keep a relatively flat bottom because I want it to sit. I want it to sit upright. Now, in terms of uh, Atty, I did want it so the tank would sit sort of straight up wise. So I wanted it in sort of that scenario. Um, and then it gives me the ability to shape all this nicely. Um, I know it may look weird, but I find that quite pleasantly attractive. Um, <laughs> don't know why. But uh, yes, now that would be ideal, but I am faced with an ever so slight problem, and I'll show you what that problem is. And it isn't until you, because I don't plan these things, I just, like today, I've taken a tree trunk and and we've chopped bugger out of it. Um, these are tight, and I want them tight. Uh, switch come out. Now I'll take away going out here. Problem I've got. Because obviously I've got to get wires between the two. Now these two aren't too difficult to get a hole. Um, drill down at an angle, down in there, through to this one. Problem is, because the, the ATI connection that was set up here is only a 9mm hole, it's going to be incredibly difficult. Yeah, I could get along with it, don't I? Uh, see again, he's sinking on his feet. Um, would I get a drill bit if I had a long drill bit down at an angle, down through to the switch? Probably, yes. Might have to investigate that. But essentially, that's where I'm going with it. Um, and, and then it's a case of, I'm hoping to get, if you like, the fundamentals done today. Um, and, and then we can take this away and, uh, and shape and mould and, and sand and try and get it nice so we can get it wired up. But I know it's not a pipe, um, but it is something totally different. And, and this is made from, from a dried piece of cherry. Um, that we had lying around uh, and I've got to do bits with the other stuff but essentially our two holes and our ammo spoils we are we are doing something with um, I'm going to go away I'm going to have a, a think about this at here I'm going to measure up some drill bits to see whether I can because um, the prongs from the switches are going to be quite low uh, might work might work what I'm thinking I don't know I'm going to go away have a think and I'll pop back and see what we get on. And you probably noticed there was quite a bit of thinking going on there. Um, I mean, I, I tend to film things on, I, I say, on the fly. Um, and I do them as I make them. Um, it's just the way that I've always done it. <laughs> and that was the idea, to sort of uh, do a, a fly on the wall thing with Tinya Tip. Um, so yeah, you may well see that I chop and change and, and things, you know, it's, it's, it's never a step-by-step -step guide. Don't ever assume from the start that uh, what I know uh, at the start is, is what's actually going to happen at the end. It, it's never the case. Um, it's time for a second away break. I'll see you back very shortly after this. Liberty Flight sponsors 10-Year Tip with Gary Dibley.
sponsor's 10-year tip with Gary Dibley. And there we go. We are back in the room once again. Those ad breaks I say every week are far too short. Um, squeak the chair. Sorry. Apologies for that. Uh, so yes, we are essentially looking at taking a lump of wood this week, or a what was a tree. Um, I suppose that's where wood comes from, ultimately, doesn't it? Uh, and and turning it into a, a vaping device, and we're getting there. And and I've basically been discovering my errors as I've <laughs> I've gone along. And there's been a few of them. Trust me. Like uh, bandsaws were not meant for uh, tree trunks, um, but uh, that's a completely other story so I'm gonna pop into my next little bit now where you see one of one of the you know the, the thought process as as we go through this um, and I'm not saying it's the right thought process but it is a thought process at least um, as we as we go through this thing um, I'm calling it a thing I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet um, on to my next little bit of it now I went away and I've been I've been thinking and um, because it was so uh, so cold and dusty and whatever, I had some of this because it's on offer in Sainsbury's for a pound. Um, advert for Sainsbury's, um, but it did give me a little bit of inspiration um, and a dry throat. Not anymore. Um, I was talking about having this in a scenario where my tank effectively was going to sit upright like so on the top of this mod now because I did say we had some flexibility bits in this because we're using um, this part of the Vamo is the part that attached to the uh, if you like this bit is the bit we're using of the Vamo the bit that attaches to the body to go inside this wood um, what that would give us the ability to do is take off our end cap take out our 18350 screw on our extension cap or the Vamo extension cap that we have. Now this is going to make this stand out huge. Stick in an 18650, stick on our top. So then we've got an 18650 pipey-esque type thing. Now with the, the thing on, with your tank on, that's going to give you, that's going to be right in your face and particularly the vent hole. So if you're vaping like that, you've got the vent hole in your face. Now, if anything was to happen, you don't want that going off in your face. So what I'm sort of thinking is, do I try and set this off at a bit of an angle like such? Hmm. What that's going to mean is, is having to cut a section away from here, coming away, uh, you know, like a little V section off, um, and drill me at you and never such a slight angle it'll still be a nice little desktopy thing which is what I was after um, with the ability to take 18650 8500 but you know uh, if it's like that and we're vaping this way yeah hold on this yeah let me get your picture so out like that it's vaping that way you know you go up yeah just take your air with it that's fine um not sure um, you know, the, one of the beauties of modding is, as we say, um, yeah, dilemma now. So I'm, I'm sort of thinking maybe I would like it to come out at an angle. Um, I've no idea how this is going to turn out because literally I'm just going to shape this then um, afterwards. Uh, just shape it to to feel, um, you know. Looking good though, I think. We, we have the sort of beginnings of an idea um, whether it's going to work or not it's, 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 it's working better than the wood I've tried before let's put it that way um, yeah sort of a steampunky wood thing definitely going on now so I'm reckoning I'm definitely probably going to try and take an angle off this to angle up the the atty so it'll come out so when I've got an 18 extension on there um, it'll still be you know still work on a table Got to get that nice and flat so it will work on the table. Um, but yes, I think there's lots, lots of work left in this one yet. Um, and hopefully this is inspiring you to get your, get your tools out. So I'm going to go away and think about that a little bit more. Um, probably think about it while drinking a little bit more of the Clop and Blogger Blogger, whatever it's called. Um, and I'll be back very shortly after the elf. 
And you may well notice, if you have just joined us, I've just uh, spent an absolute age um, with the little routing bit. Sorry, in much need of a vape now. It's a calm down vape. Um, remember to keep plasters in the workshop. Uh, yeah. What I've done is very roughly routed off an angle. Um, I was saying, now what this is going to give me the ability to do is drop a drill bit down and get that now straight in there to run straight through into the battery compartment and again straight through there into my battery compartment to run my wires. So what we will have then is we can get a ding dong doofy thing in there and switch in there and Etsy connector will sit on this edge. Now as I say I'm gonna tart all this up and round it all, all off and all that sort of stuff but effectively what that will give me then is my tank coming out at an ever so slight angle and I've tried to keep this platform and what I'll do I'll draw around my tank when I do this draw around my tank and try and keep this platform so that it uh, it sort of molds the shape of the of the tank when we when we start taking wood away um, rather bizarre looking mod um, at this moment in time but uh, I think that's going to work rather nice I do I shape that well for the hand that's going to be a nice little nice little weird mess um, that's mod but you can sort of see where I'm going with this hopefully um, yeah, uh, you can sort of see where we're going with that um, but rather than have it come straight up it's now down at an angle battery can go in there and what that will do if I want to stick me 18650 in the top of there uh, it's pointing away from my face when it goes up um, if it ever does so yes now this will be shaped he says very nicely um, before we wire um, but as, as far as this week I think I've got more than enough I've got, uh, enough done um, you can sort of see where we're going with that um, now this is a, a nice cherry and I do want to really take this down and, and shape it and, and you know make something nice from it um, now I may well do some of that shaping today I, d I don't know um, I may well not um, what I might do is, is see if I can get a rough shape on it and uh, and then I'll be taking it um, away with me to the Isle of Wight to uh, to start sanding um, everything down. Um, I need to draw around uh, my switches where everything's going and, and we'll try and add um, some nice characteristics to it. Now the one thing I'm sure of is battery weight uh, should keep this uh, etty. I don't want that to, to be in a position where it's, it's going to over tip. There's no battery there in the moment, so it shouldn't move. As long as I keep enough of a, a chunk of wood on there. But I'm going to try and shape it to my hand um, and see where we go. But uh, yes, there is our, our little tree trunk and the spoils of our uh, of our bamo. And just to show you that with uh, with sort of like the 18650 tube on. Something like that. Rather bizarre, rather bizarre wood creations. <laughs> but I'm quite liking that actually. <laughs> yeah, that's funky. That's going to be something different set on my desk. Definitely something different. Um, it won't stay in the 18650 mode, um, but at least it's got the capacity to take in one. I think that's going to be quite funky. I'll, I'll enjoy using that. It's definitely going to be a a talking piece when it's uh, when it's on the bench, and hopefully I'm going to get all this wood, um, you know, polished up nicely so it all uh, all works well. Um, but there we go, back to me in the studio, and uh, I'll catch you very shortly after this. Now there was one thing I wanted to show you very, very, very quickly. Um, I know I said that was it over, but uh, I just I wanted to, to to double check. I've obviously got to get my cables through, so I've literally just drilled um, some holes down in. Um, I've got one coming from my battery compartment, which is going to come off the neg, which is going to go up here to the switch. 
um, and uh, a pos straight through from the battery compartment that's going to be down in the deck um, running up to my pos to my neg then obviously my uh, my output from my switch uh, which is running through as you can see to my battery compartment neg from where my neg is going to be taken from that holder that's running up through there and pos from battery up there now what that'll mean is I'll probably have to run some little channels down inside here um, when I when I you know get that going so essentially as I was saying before now it's just a case of, uh, of tidying this all up um, getting it to a, uh, a nice shape um, and I'll probably be uh, doing some of that with power tools probably a belt sander um, to, to run through some bits and, and then I'll be finishing, uh, finishing by hand um, and I want to get this down to, to a nice um, sort of finish uh, before I start wiring uh, wiring everything up um, so you can see that's quite quite chunky um, quite choppy but take it down with the with the tools probably a belt sander um, belt sander clamped in events in a, in, a, in events in a, in a bench to start with um, don't want to take too much off the bottom I want to leave the bottom fairly much as it is other than other than just level it out ever so slightly um, sort of sit nicely because at the moment it's a little bit rocky um, and I want to take as much of this as away as I can, just leaving some nice grain of, of the wood and then we can get that stained up. At this moment in time, it doesn't look anywhere near um, spectacular, but I'm sure when it's finished, it might do. Um, not sure. Um, he says he's sure, but he's not sure. With all that said, back to me. Finally, in the studio. Oh, and by the way, this is a recording. Um, I am, in fact, probably now half cut, if you're watching this at 9 o'clock. Um, watching some kiddie club thing and probably playing pool with my brother-in-law. Um, thank you very much. See you in a bit. Right, well, because we had a few minutes left to kill, I thought I'd um, start the uh, the shaping, um, which is sort of coming on um, to our moment to get it. I'll just show you how we're doing that with the uh, with the router.
you can see, no plan, just uh, trying to get it shaped out. Time for the sander. And there was indeed uh, no plan, as I say. That we're making it up as we go along. Um, I'm going to show you very quickly because uh, I did get the sander out after that. And um, let me see if we can bring this up to to sort of. This is sort of where we are now. Um, looking a little bit more sanded, um, but I'm sort of thinking I might want to take this a bit more of a V towards the uh, towards the Etty. But as it stands. Um, it's looking, <laughs> I'm impressed, shall I say. I am seriously impressed. Uh, so it's, it's gonna be diddy, it's quite it's quite tiny. If you compare that to um, to the MoFo, um, it's tiny. And obviously, because we're using the Vamo tube, we'll be able to use that with, uh, with an 18350, uh, 18650 with the other bit of the Vamo tube, and um, potentially, I haven't tried it, obviously don't know yet, uh, with an 18650 tube, a kick, and uh, an 18500. Um, but it, it's now to the point where where I can sort of hold that comfortably. And I'm, I'm making this for my hand, because it's one that I'm definitely going to keep. Um, I'm making mods for me. Um, I know it may sound selfish, but uh, <laughs> I don't care. Um, with all that said, I'm I'm gonna head off very very shortly. Um, as I say, I I will continue filming. Um, I'm gonna be away um, for next week. Uh, I'll be definitely here live um, next Monday, and uh, and I will be filming this as I go, um, be it on holiday or whatever. I will take a pocket of sandpaper with me. Um, so with all that said, guys, the one thing that most of us find most satisfying is when you actually finally finish that mod and uh, and you uh, you take that first vape and I'm going to leave you with um, with Mark's thoughts on that um, one thing I must say have a very happy Easter guys thank you very much for watching um, and uh, hope to see you here next week good night Flight sponsors 10-Year Tip with Gary Dibley.